All right, well, this hand kind of sucks. Way too big. We want to save these guys for when they're one mana cost. I mean, that's better. So what homebrew sorcery are you playing here? <laughs> yeah, so the last one that I was playing was a Dragon Pirate Paladin. And I got inspired because I was like, I really wanted to do something with weapons. I'm like, okay, so what classes work very well with weapons? And immediately I thought of the, the usuals, right? You got Rogue, Warrior, Paladin. Well, Paladin has a ton of weapons now. I think Paladin has probably the most weapons out of anybody now. So I'm like, okay, so let's work on some weapons with Paladin. You have things like, um, what is it, Ivan Dragonsmith, which makes all your expensive weapons cheaper. So I'm like, okay, lots of dragon. And weapons are good for kind of tempo removal plays. So let's make kind of like a tempo dragon package. And then I'm like, you know what? Pirates are also really good with weapons too. So then I just threw in a lot of the really good synergy with pirates. You know, you have Dread Corsairs, you have Captain Greenskin, you know, all that good stuff. And I ended up with a pirate dragon paladin that actually works. <laughs> I've won three games with it so far and I've lost two. So, I mean, I guess it's worth something. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a keysmith here. I don't really want to counter spell, right? Cause he has a coin. Or would I rather just silence this Northshire Cleric? He's not playing Cloning Gallery, because they don't run uh, Northshire Cleric. He's probably running Dragons. Um, so I don't want to be doing Spellbreaker, because he can easily kill that. So I guess we just do Keysmith. Maybe we get like an Explosive Runes. That'll kill his Duskbreaker. There we go. Oh, I mean, actually, what if we get the Duskbreaker? We could get two copies of a Duskbreaker to our hand. That would be kind of sick. What <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go all in, assuming that he is a Dustbreaker. <laughs> Let's risk it for the biscuit here, guys. Yeah, going wild and crazy big. Damn right. Hey, yeah, we can actually use a Twilight Drake. Holy smokes, that works out really well. Sweet. All right, so now I think I do want to go ahead and Spellbreaker this. Right? Or would I just rather play a Twilight Drake and then just bump uh, the Northshire? Because what is he going to do next turn? Turn five. Um, I mean, he could do like another Twilight Drake. There we go. So this one we silence it. We get ready to kill it next turn. Um, if he does breakers, he kills his own minion. So kind of awkward for him to do that too. And then, oh yeah, so Lady J, you, see, you asked your dad to help you out with your emotes. Nice. You do them. Okay. Nice. Wow. You're lucky that you actually have a dad that's good with uh, doing that stuff. I mean, I can't really claim that my emotes are mine either. My girlfriend is a graphic designer. So my girlfriend made all of my emotes. <laughs> but man, family members, that's the way to go for sure. That way you don't have to pay somebody an arm and a leg to commission them for you. Catman, you don't get this game? How come? Oh, do you not play Hearthstone? What main games do you play, Catman? Um, well, this is a really good turn to play Twilight, I think. I mean, I could do Cobalt Scalebane. But I think I would rather play two minions here instead of one. All right, next turn we can always crowd roster. Lady J, you're just playing arena. Oh, nice. Man, I haven't played arena in a hot minute. As priest, and I managed to get copy Lich King twice out of my opponent's deck. <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding me, Lady J. <laughs> oh my god, that's nutty. I think uh, I think Priest does have the potential 
to have like the biggest nutty swing turns in arena though oh man <laughs> that's why I, I actually love playing priest whenever i play arena i usually try to go for like priest warrior and warlock those guys are there because they have really good board clears if you need them um they have pretty solid minions too uh you can usually fight for board control very well with those classes and just the meme potential right like stealing a lich king twice <laughs> Oh man, I would be tilted if I was if I was that opponent, Lady J. <laughs> I'd be so tilted. All right, so he's coming up to his psychic scream turn, right? So, I mean, I don't want to be making too wide of a board. I could just punch, 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 and then like Cobalt Scalebane, just chill. Now, let's just push all the damage that we can. Next turn, we can just go ahead and just Twilight Drake and then refill our board. And honestly, even if he does Psychic Scream, that's not going to be the worst thing in the world if we draw our Pocket Galaxy. Because all these guys just get cheaper. <laughs> so he'll just be giving back all of our minions, but cheaper. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now he just made our entire deck just cheaper. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. Yeah, so, okay. Are you, get ready to uh, just shit your pants here. Because I'm going to Stargazer Luna and then just absolutely go off. Ready for this? Hold up. Do I want to do it now? Um, I mean, he did burn one Psychic Scream. He he probably does have a Shadow Reaper Anduin, so I got to be careful. All right? I Fuck it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right, yeah, I got Stargazer Luna, so come on. We got to. We have to do it. I don't care if he has Shadow Reaper Anduin at this point. We gotta go all, balls to the wall here. <laughs> um, yeah, counter spell. If he has another, if he has another psychic scream. This will be perfect. Behold the tools of creation. Mojo Master Zihi. Come on, Mojo. If I get my Mojo Master Zihi. That'd be perfect. Uh, I guess we're not that lucky. Alright, we gotta go fast. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> oh man, what a turn. What a turn. All of this for nine mana. If he tries to psychic scream, we got a counter spell. <laughs> oh my god. That was hilarious. Okay, so I think shamans are playing like that weird peanut shaman, right? Where he uses like dragons, he uses shutter walks, hexes, all that stuff. So uh, I don't think I need to be too defensive here right away. Right? I don't think too many are playing like even shaman. Okay, I guess this guy is playing even shaman. So I spoke too soon. But we still do have to be worried about hexes, because I know they do run them. He's got two. We've got some good stuff to hex. Hopefully he doesn't have anything good to... Uh, hopefully he doesn't draw it, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Actually, good card to get. Fits our curve nicely. This is perfect. I don't know if there's going to be a good turn that we can uh, pocket galaxy, though. Because against even Shaman, yeah. Even Shaman, we gotta worry about tempo here. I mean, at least we're uh, drawing cards into our curve. That's a plus. Put 
As long as we don't get too far behind on board, I think we might be okay. Yikes. Yikes. All right, well, we got some good uh, good taunts, so we're not taking damage, at least. <laughs> at least we got that going for us. Oh, no. Don't hit my Tark Creeper. Hey, Tark Creeper's still alive. Still alive and kicking. <laughs> uh, I think I might actually just want to ping this uh, knife juggler just to eventually kill it. Because this knife juggler, I think, is probably going to be the most annoying. Would I rather just Luna here for a 2-4 or a 2-3? Nah, I think I actually want to wait to use Luna after I pocket Galaxy. Um, if we can find a good turn to pocket Galaxy, we can throw down a good taunt on turn 8, and then we can Luna on turn 9, and then just keep drawing a ton of stuff. Yeah, so if we can just find a good turn to do that... That's going to be the ultimate question, though. <laughs> so far, he's not really doing too many things. Right? He's just playing a lot of little tokens. If we don't draw a good minion next turn, I think it might just Luna. Just to go ahead and contest the board. Oh, man. He's just picking off our stuff. This knife juggler. Dragon Moss Scorcher would be a pretty sick card to get here. Oh god, yeah, that healing totem. Oh man, that's problematic. Okay, we might be in trouble here, guys. <laughs> he has a flame elemental. Kind of screwed. I guess our only out right now is to Luna's Pocket Galaxy and then Stargazer Luna into like a lot of really good taunts, right? Like Lich King, um, Zilliax, another Tar Creeper, maybe into a Keysmith. I think that's a pretty much our only out now. I mean, we're at full health, so I think we can safely Luna's Pocket Galaxy here. We don't have a dragon, so we can't crowd roast her. Oh man. How much damage are we gonna take next turn though? Oh man, okay, so we're gonna take three, five. We're only gonna be taking eight. So I guess I'm not too worried. Alright, so if we can have a good swing turn next time. We might still be in this. Maybe we can pull an Alex Straza or something. A Yasera, Lich King with a Doom Pact. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, all that good stuff. Um, I really don't want a Moshog Enforcer here because if he hexes it, he'll pretty much just win. Just straight up win. Um, right, because he has 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 damage here. Yeah, so he, he can easily push through that on turn 8. What to do? Do. We'll make him hex something this next turn and then we'll Moshog Enforcer. Uh, maybe we get a Counterspell? Okay, so Counterspell I guess is good for um, Hex. Mirror Entity is good against, or for Lich King. Explosive Runes. 
I mean, heck, these are all really good. Which one do I take? <laughs> I guess Counterspell for the Hex. All right, we got to go. Yeah, because if he tries to Hex our Lich King, yeah, this will be the best way to go. Uh, let's get that Lyra out of the way. We gotta go fast, we gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Ah, shoot, we weren't fast enough. At least we got a Doom Pact, okay. Shoot, yeah, if we were fast enough, though. Man, we could've got the Scale Worm poking in on this, uh, Knife Juggler. We could've got a Zilliax going. Need to be a little bit faster. <laughs> Timer got the best of us. We were talking too much. He might have been just burning my counter spell for his hex. Oh, no hex. Okay. No hex. We'll take it. And if you can't burn through our Luna, that's going to be even better. I think he can, though. We'll probably find some way to deal with this Luna. Yeah, he was afraid of this Luna. I don't blame him. <laughs> I'd be afraid of this Luna too if I were him. All right. Um, shoot, I think I just have to Doom Pact here. This is just way too big of a board. Unless. Okay, so what if I Crowd Roaster thing this? I use my Scale Worm on the Primal Fin. Use my Keysmith to kill this. Use my Zilliax to kill this. Actually, we can get a pretty good clear. Heck yeah. Let's do it. I... Alright, so that'd be one, two. Are you Sarah? Oh no! Well, uh, Polymorph is gonna be pretty good, I think. So that way, if he has like a Lich King, if he has a Kalamos, uh, we'll be pretty set against that. But holy smokes, we got how many cards left in our deck? We have four cards. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well. I guess Polymorph is pretty good here. All right, Polymorph, thing, trade, and then just Alex draws uh, his face just to put an 8-8 on the board. All right, what if I actually crowd roaster this guy? Seven damage, Zilliax, ping. That would work too. Save our Polymorph for something bigger, like a Lich King. What to do? What to do? Primitive. Then it could Alex draws with his face just as another 8-8. Let's do it. Getting that one mana Alex Straza. Oh, baby. <laughs> if we somehow pull this one around, I will be shocked. No freaking way. We actually pulled this one around. Okay, consider me shocked. 